I'm sure you've heard the stat that the average American's attention span is shorter than a goldfish. So how the hell are we supposed to sit down and read if we can barely sit still for 10 seconds? In this quick video, I'm gonna walk through the method that I use to go from a crazed lunatic who can barely sit through a paragraph to reading an entire book in one sitting. Focus is a muscle, and currently our muscles are trained for fast consumption, 10 seconds at a time, always craving the new and novel. We are neophiliacs. This can really make reading feel like a lost cause. So how can we build up our focus to withstand long, uninterrupted sessions of reading? No matter how bad you think you are, you'd be shocked at the transformation that you could make. Some of the best readers of all time had ADHD. For this method to work, you'll need a few things. A pen, a post-it note, a timer, and a book that doesn't suck. And if you have no idea what to read, choose one of these. They've all been massively life-changing for me and don't suck. When it comes to the timer, I highly recommend using an external timer that's outside of your phone. So whenever we use our phone for things, we'll get sucked in, read our messages, check our emails, and we just want a simple device that just times. That's it. The one that I found to work best is this. It costs you about $10. I think I found it from Alex Hormozzi. It's fantastic. Highly recommend it. Before we even start, the absolute foundation is removing distractions. So turn off your phone, put it in the fridge, microwave, or in the closet behind the door. The key being that you can't see it or reach it easily. Same goes for any other devices that might distract you. Next, take your timer and set that thing for one minute. Remember, our muscles haven't been worked out in a hot second. So while there will be a temptation to do an all out soul crushing workout, this will leave us sore the next day so we won't be able to repeat it. Take it slow and steady. This is just about building the initial consistency. We're gonna work up from what should seem like a piece of cake being one minute. And if one minute feels too daunting, try 30 seconds, 15 seconds. Whatever can get you to almost scoff at it because it's so simple. Next up, grab a post-it note and smack it on the cover of a book. The use behind this post-it note is what I call a distraction cue. While reading, a million things will pop into your head. You really should do the laundry. You have no clothes left, you'll stink. What if you see that one girl that you have a crush on and you're wearing that shirt that's not been properly laundered and she smells you and vomits? This is our brain trying to trick us. More than anything, our brain is afraid of change. The problem is that it resists all change, even if some of these changes are positive and something that we actually want. Reading is uncomfortable and our brain wants us to be comfortable. So whatever it can do to get us out of that reading mode and doing something such as scrolling on our phone that it knows is comfortable, it will do. Don't listen to it. Instead, whenever you have one of these distracting thoughts, close the book and write it on the post-it note. Do the laundry. Send that letter you've been meaning to send. Then after you write it, go back, open up the book and go back to reading. See, we can't just avoid these distractions and continue on reading because we all know how that goes. Instead of avoiding them, we will capture them and tell ourselves that we'll deal with them later after we're done reading. When you have a distracting thought, stop, close the book, and write it on the post-it note on the cover. Once I found the strategy, I do this for everything. Even when I was writing this video, I had a distraction cue to log all of the distracting thoughts. The method is really as simple as that. Start reading, and then whenever you have a distraction, stop, write it down, and then continue on reading. Start with one minute and then slowly increment the time by one minute every day. When the timer rings, you can attend to the things in your distraction queue, then rinse and repeat. You could do as many cycles of this as you want per day. If you're curious of what the acronym stands for, distraction, instead of ignoring it, capture it, keep on reading. Really, that's the whole strategy. I'm not gonna belabor this any longer. Give it a try and feel free to like and subscribe. My mission is to help people build the habit of reading. Thanks for watching.